At this point, I am happy to announce that we have finished designing all the pages on the admin section and can now move on to designing the pages in the public section. So I will open the public section on the finished project and the first page we are going to be designing is the landing page or what is typically called the home page. So this is the page we are going to begin with. And in this video, I'm going to be adding the basic structure of the page, uh, sort of laying the groundwork for the actual designing of the components within this page. Okay, so let us go to our code base. And remember, we already created the file for the home page in the project we are working on. If you open index.html in the root folder of the application, you will see what the page looks like. At this point, all it has is the navigation bar. And if you check uh, the code base, it is this file index.html in the root folder of the application. And as you can see, it only has the navigation bar. And then down here, we only have some scripts and so on. Now, um, we are going to wrap all the content on this page from the bottom of the navigation bar to the top of the um, footer we are going to wrap all the content in a container called page container okay and since this is going to be a very big container i want us to just begin now by indicating the way the place where it starts and where it ends using comments all right so we indicate the beginning and the end of that section using comments all right, so after the uh, main content or the container of the page, we are going to have the footer under it. So we are also going to add comments to indicate where the page footer begins and ends. And then we will add uh, the actual footer itself. It is going to have a class of page footer okay so these are the two basic elements i wanted us to add on this page uh, we can now move over to the styling um, we are going to provide some basic styling of these elements now for the styling of the public section we are not going to be writing those styles inside the admin style.css anymore even though we are still going to leave this link to the admin style.css file we will add another one just under that and this one is going to link to a new style file which we are going to create right now so let us create that file inside the same asset css folder i will create a new file called public.css okay and then i will link to this file in our index.html uh, so you are going to step into the assets folder and then into the css folder and finally we'll link to the public.css file and be sure to place this file under the include or the link for the admin style.css file it is very important that you do this because uh, most of the styles we write in our public.css is going to be depending on the styles we defined earlier in our admin style.css and besides most of the defaults on our website have already been defined inside admin style.css so we are going to be depending on that on our public section so having done that i'm going to open public.css and um, the first thing you should notice is that on the finished project the public section has a background color of white uh, meanwhile on the on the um, admin section or on the dashboard it has a different background color so let us give this a different background color uh, let me show you what i mean in the code this is the background color we assigned to the HTML elements and the body tag but we want something else here so i'm going to select the html and the body tags 
and give a background color of white also we are we are going to be segmenting our css file the same way we did here starting with the defaults and then after that components and then after that pages okay so let me just copy this and then up here we begin with defaults after defaults we have components then after components we have pages okay so having established that we can move on to styling the layout of the page so i'll go to the pages section and i'll add a comment for the landing or home page stars and then the first uh, element i'm going to select in that page is the page container so for this page container we are going to assign it a maximum width of 1200 pixels and the reason we are assigning a maximum width is the same as what i explained when we were doing so in the admin section we basically want to restrict the maximum width of the website so that on very wide screens our content or the content on our page is not going to be overstretched all right so it's still going to look very good and very normal on extremely wide screens okay and then now that we have set a maximum width we're going to set a margin of zero pixels at the top and then auto to centralize it uh, horizontally on the page then we'll give it a padding of 32 pixels and then let me just give it a red border so that we can see the elements as we are styling it okay and then that's it for the landing pa the uh, page container the next element i am selecting is the page footer that we added also for this one i'm just going to give it a height of 500 pixels and a background color of this color now let us refresh this page on our browser and see what it looks like so we will open index.html okay and this is what it looks like obviously we need to fix this footer because right now it is suspended some somehow on the page even though we expect it to to stick to the bottom so this is a very common issue that people run into when they are designing a web page all right so in order to push this to the, this footer to always be at the bottom um one way to do that is to make sure that the page container has a height that is always as uh, big enough to let the footer always be at the bottom and we can calculate that uh, that minimum style that we require for the page container so we need a height that is um we need the page container to have a height that is equivalent to this height that it has right now plus this other height so if you combine this height where you have a white background and this other height it is going to be enough to push the footer to stick to the bottom so right now we have our nav bar that has a height of 80 pixels and then we have our footer that has a height of uh, 500 pixels which we just assigned all right so the entire page from the start here to the finish has a height of 100 vh which is like 100 percent of the visible height so if you take 100 percent of the visible height and you subtract the height of the navigation bar and the height of the footer you will be left with this height that is the white space okay and if you set the page container to have a minimum height of all this white space it is going to make sure that the footer is always just after it which is at the bottom so this is going to be easier when we implement so let us do that now we'll set a minimum height of calc that is on the page container we use the calc function provided by css 
and we say 100% of the visible height that's 100 VH minus the height of the navigation bar which is 80 pixels minus the height of the footer which is 500 pixels so all together is uh, 100 VH minus 580 pixels okay so this is the minimum height so at any point in time whether there is any content on the page container or not we want it to have a certain height that will enable it to push the footer to always be at the bottom okay we refresh and this is that height we required all right so as you can see this is 100 percent of the height of the page and then now we have the 80 percent or 80 pixels for the nav bar and then 500 pixels for the footer and now this content has the minimum height of whatever is left okay so that's it this is the basic layout i wanted us to add on this page um in the next video we are going to start populating uh the page with the design of the various components within it all right so see you in the next video